What is a fanfare? It's a short piece of music signalling that something's about to happen. It's a call to attention. We hear fanfares all the time. You'll hear them on sports pitches, indicating that teams are coming onto the pitch or to announce a famous player. You'll hear them in ceremonies written to mark a really special occasion or event. The military use fanfares to commemorate those killed in action or to celebrate those coming home from war. And even TV theme tunes function as the simplest kind of fanfare, indicating that our favourite programmes are about to start. But where do fanfares originally come from? For centuries, people across the world have been using music to communicate messages across vast distances. And fanfares have grown from these traditions. So typically, we associate fanfares with brass instruments and percussion, because these carry sound furthest. What are the traditional characteristics we associate with fanfares? Dotted rhythms. Repeated patterns. And of course, notes from the harmonic series. Notes from a triad, the first note of the scale, the third note of the scale, and the fifth note of the scale. But what do we mean by the harmonic series? Well, when you blow down an open tube, you get a series of notes naturally just by changing the shape of your mouth. It's these notes that we call the harmonic series. Listen to these two fanfares written for the British Army's Household Cavalry. A call to horse, indicating that the soldiers should mount. A call for swords, indicating that their soldiers should return their swords into their scabbards. Fanfares have been used in theatre, in ballet and in opera for centuries. Here are some excerpts of famous fanfares performed by our brass section from our repertoire at the Royal Opera House.